Hey guys, Richard here, E-Bike Reviews and Adventures. I'm gonna go grab a quick lunch from the sandwich shop. I'm soloing it again today. Something came up with Amanda here recently. So she's been not around a whole lot. She'll be back here in a couple of days though. I've been knocking out some videos in the garage and doing some other things. Uh, it is a great day today though. My buddy Ron, he's down at the beach today. I'm going to tell you what, it is getting to be that time of year. Yeah. So, let's have a discussion about e-bike laws, right? Um, there's been a lot of talk online about e-bike laws. Some things coming down, some changes that are happening in different places around the country and different states. A lot of people talking about it. I've been watching some of those videos, not all of them. But it got me thinking because, you know, in January I released a, a video talking about 2024 and one of the things I mentioned, I one of the things I mentioned there is that we would start seeing more regulation this year. You know, it's inevitable. You know, you got this many e-bikes hitting the streets. Everywhere you go, you see e-bikes now. And they're going to start regulating them. And so, you know, I, I, most of us probably foresaw that and understood that. But what can you do? You know, what can you do? The government's going to find a way to get their hands in your pocket so here's you know here's what's going on in in my area uh, there's a big news piece that came out about a month ago some of you heard about it some a couple of folks have talked about it had a uh, hold on here got to get up here uh, it had a, uh, a township that banned e-bikes for 60 days because there was a death involving an e-bike and once you start looking into you know the the, uh, the things surrounding that e-bike accident turns out it was you know here's a the, the, the quick and dirty it was it was dark so I don't know if it was early morning or late at night um, it was a dark street one bike was an e-bike the lady that died was riding a regular bike um, the, the rider of the e-bike was a, a, a child, 12-year-old, my understanding. He was wearing his helmet like he was supposed to be. The lady that died was not wearing her helmet. I and mean, that's unfortunate. And, you know, we don't know a few other key, key facts there about, you know, it was the e-bike, did he have his lights on? Uh, was her bike equipped with lights? Were either one of them speeding? You know, there's just... Uh, there's a few things there we just don't know that would help us understand what happened. But the, uh, the local government there said, hey, you know, this is a problem and we're going to ban e-bikes for 60 days. And they're talking about uh, banning them completely, you know. Um, and that's just, yeah, there'll be lawsuits over that one, I would hope. The, uh, a couple of days ago, Amanda and I were working in the garage and hanging out, and a, uh, a lady from across the street who happens to be on our, our homeowners association board stopped by and asked me about e-bike laws, and she said it came up in the last monthly meeting that uh, the subject of e-bikes in the neighborhood came up and the laws regarding them, and supposedly it was because of Crazy Kid. If you seen a couple of my videos I've referenced crazy kid a little bit maybe I should call him something else I don't know but there's this young man who's probably about 12 maybe 14 or something riding a full-size 26 inch e-bike in our neighborhood and he rides through there full bore just fast as he can go but he's not on the streets he's on the sidewalk in the streets in between cars uh, getting real close to people just really being a hazard and, you know, people are starting to talk about it because, you know, this guy, this, this kid's a hazard. And they don't know who he is. They're not sure where he lives. So, you know, it's, uh, 
is a problem. When people act like that, they draw attention to, you know, the e-bike community and they, bad things tend to happen. Let's just say that, you know, it's just, and it's things like that that's going to cause more and more regulation. So I don't know what's going to happen, you know. All I know is, is uh, it's just going to get worse. Here in Florida, we're allowed to ride on the sidewalks. A lot of you disagree with that. But look, do you see any people on the sidewalk? This isn't New York City. You see anybody on the sidewalks over there? Um, there's just not a lot of people out walking on these sidewalks. And so, yeah, it's safer to be on the sidewalk than out in the, in the bike lane. Um, now, when you get into town, that's a different story because there are more people that are going to be using the sidewalk. And um, you just have to be careful and be courteous. And the group of people that I ride with, we try to do just that. <clears throat> Excuse me. We try to be courteous. We try to we go nice and slow. We stop for pedestrians uh, when they approach. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes they stop for us and just let us go by since we're a larger group, which is nice. We always thank them for that, for allowing us to pass through. But uh, yeah, so there's a responsible way to do it, and then there's an irresponsible way to do it. It's the irresponsible people that are causing problems for us. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here in Florida. Florida, the free state of Florida, we like to call it, because there's a lot of things that don't happen here that happen everywhere else. And I'm thankful to be living here, because we have choices. But I suspect they're going to uh, start cracking down here. We'll start seeing some regulation rolling out this year. Because, yeah, well, just because. Yeah. All right. So I don't know. Tell me what you think. What's, what new regulations are you seeing in your area? Is there scuttlebutt going on? Is there talk, discussions about uh, new things happening, new changes? What do, you think should, what do you think should change? Do you think it should be left to local municipalities, local governments, counties, states, or... Should it all be nationalized and then just have a federal government uh, regulation? Yeah, I do believe in some control of, uh, you know, for public safety. Sure. Um, you know, that's just common sense. We got, all got to have a basic set of rules to live by to try to make us all a cohesive society. But the problem with governments is they, they get in there and then they start over-regulating everything. And then things just get stupid from there. And then things get more dangerous again because of the over-regulation and... I mean, it's just a vicious cycle, but it's just, things usually end badly. So tell me what you think. What do you want to see? What you don't want to see? What are you experiencing in your area? That's going to be it for this video. You guys ride responsibly, ride safe.